Alrighty then. Um, this one, some people are probably going to think is kind of silly, but I've had this clock for a couple of years. I bought it really cheap at a thrift store, and uh, originally the dial face uh, looked like, and I'll put a picture in here, it looked like a, an artificial horizon. I didn't like that. I thought it would be better if it looked like a, an altimeter. And so I basically took a al picture of an altimeter. Uh, I went into AutoCAD and I drew an altimeter. Um, I even made sure that the inches hygrometer and the uh, whatever the metric one is um, matched. And there's no, it, basically, it's a clock. There's no second hand. And I've been having trouble with it. It, it goes through batteries pretty quickly and it doesn't always. Uh, make good contact and it's really irritating. So what I did was this morning I basically installed a, a an AC or a DC socket and a small one of the very small um, buck converters which I uh, you've seen in one of my previous videos um, a small relay and I took the battery and moved it from here up to here it just so happens it per fits almost perfectly in there um, I got this AA battery uh, holder from Radio Shack when they went out of business and so the way this is wired is 12 volts DC comes in energizes this solenoid uh, which by the way in the normally the normal unpowered position is these two connectors which the way that will work is power comes through here sorry uh, comes through here goes out to here and then the negative goes over here comes out the brown wire and goes here so when there's no power applied power goes to the clock from this battery the instant you install plug in 12 volts it energizes this solenoid which and it also energizes this buck converter and it converts the 12 volts down to one and a half volts which comes out, goes through here, and then into there. And so I don't know if we'll, you can see this. I think you can just barely see that the uh, minute hand is moving yeah it's moving so I'm gonna plug in power you may or may not hear the click and I'm plugging it in now And the minute hand is still moving. Yep, and I will unplug power. And the minute hand continues to move. So, there you are, a very simple uh, 
clock with uh, battery backup and uh, that's it. Later.